So in a recent video, I gave a tour of my home network, home servers, and home automation systems. And I was surprised how many people said comments like, I have the most secure home network they've ever seen, but that I completely ruined it because I have an Amazon Alexa in my house. Well, today we're going to answer the question, is Amazon Alexa safe or is it a snooping device? So before we start, I want to say one thing. If you're asking, is Amazon Alexa safe, you're actually asking the wrong question. And I'm going to tell you what the right questions are here in just a moment. So the first thing that we need to understand is that the Amazon Alexa is constantly listening for keywords. So it's listening for one of four words, Alexa, Amazon, Echo, or computer. And so you can say one of those keywords, and when you do, the device starts listening for what you say after that. There is no point in time where Amazon is listening or recording um, anything that you say before or after those interactions, and I'll come back to that in just a minute. One of the questions that gets asked immediately afterwards is, well, what is Amazon doing with that data? So Amazon records what you say to the device after you use the keyword, and it sends that up to their cloud servers. And they use that to figure out what Alexa is actually supposed to do. So whether that is turn on a light or answer a question about a stock price, um, or any uh, other myriad of things that you can ask it. Well, Amazon is not recording and listening to everything you say all day long. And you're going to ask, how do I know that? Well, there's a research firm in Britain called MWR who actually completely disassembled the Amazon Echo and did a whole bunch of research on it. And they were actually able to take the device apart and look at the internals, and they found out some really interesting things. Amazon spent a lot of time working on security. They know that if this device gets compromised, that it's going to be terrible for their business. So they want to make sure that the Amazon doesn't get hacked. And they also want to make sure that they are only doing exactly what they're telling people that they're doing. Otherwise, Amazon's entire business is at stake. So what this company did find out is with the actual Amazon Echo device in their hands, they were able to disassemble it and load custom firmware on it. And um, that way they were able to remotely monitor or could have the potential of remotely monitoring what's going on in someone's home. Now here's the thing, you have to have physical access to the device. There's no way to do this remotely and there's certainly no way to do this with um, a script kitty who's living in his mom's basement 10,000 miles away in another country. That being said, you probably don't want to buy an Amazon Echo that is used either off of Craigslist or eBay if it was made after, or sorry, before October 2017 because Amazon immediately made a hardware correction to the device to keep that from happening again in the future. Amazon really does care about security in these devices. Hey, but you don't care how secure it is, right? Because Amazon is taking every single thing that you say to Alexa and sending it up to the cloud and they're doing all kinds of data analytics on it and they're going to use that information to market to you and invade your privacy and all of these things, right? Well, remember when I said that you're asking the wrong questions when you're asking if Amazon Echo or Alexa is safe? Well, this is why. Because today you are typing far more information into Facebook, into Instagram, into Google, into Yahoo, and everywhere on the web. And all of that data is being collected and analyzed to market to you on a daily basis. And there's almost nothing that you can do about it. Even if you block cookies and JavaScript and all kinds of things on your browser, there are so many different ways that these companies have, have gotten around that and can get that data. There's all kinds of advanced mechanisms now where they are tracking things. Any page that has a like button or or an Amazon affiliate link, or Google Analytics, or any of those scripts running on the page, they're all collecting your data constantly every day. So we should not be worried about this little Amazon Alexa Echo sitting here asking it a couple of questions every now and then when we're typing all of this data into the internet. It's, it's, it's the wrong thing to be looking at. There are many places that we should be looking first. And the second thing is that gets me with this is that we're all looking at this little Amazon Alexa saying, oh my gosh, it's so scary. It's listening to everything in my house. But nobody stops and says, wow, look around your house and look at all of the things that are, have microphones or maybe even cameras on them that are in your house that are connected to the internet. And no one's scared about those. As I walked around my house, I looked at things like my Xbox and my iPad and my Microsoft Surface and even my Marantz uh, stereo receiver, which has a microphone on it that they say is just for figuring out the correct audio uh, balances in the room, uh, in my theater room. But it's connected to the internet and it certainly could become a listening device. Look at other things like your Xbox. Your Xbox One has a Kinect on it and it has a camera sitting in your living room listening to everything you say and viewing everything you say. And there's another avenue that scares me like no get out. 
I have security cameras. I have nine security cameras throughout the home. And all of those security cameras are not only recording video 24-7, they're also recording audio, which is legal in my state. And um, those are also all connected to my home network, which is connected to the internet. And so even the security devices that you buy, you need to make sure you buy them from reputable brands and that you know what you're getting into because even those can be used as a spyware device in the wrong hands. There's huge potential for these devices to be used for nefarious reasons, but everybody's worried about an Amazon Alexa Echo. I don't get that, but it gets even worse. You carry around a cell phone, a smartphone in your pocket that has a camera that's not only connected to your home network, but it's connected directly to the internet over the cellular network. And it goes literally everywhere you go. It's in your bedroom, it's in your car, it's in the bathroom, it's at work, it's at home, and it has a microphone on it. It is listening to everything you say, right? Listening to everything that you say. Why are we worried about an Amazon Alexa sitting on your countertop when you're carrying that in your pocket? Okay, so, so now you're all probably saying, well, what is the right question to ask? What questions should be, we be asking if we're not supposed to be asking is if Alexa is safe? What we should be doing is asking far more serious questions than that. Is our home network safe? Are the devices in my home safe and secured? Are they protected from malware? And the first thing you want to do is start with your firewall. If you're using the little router that your ISP sent you, your home is not safe at all. Forget it. You're, 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 there's nothing you can do. The first thing you need to do is invest in an actual firewall that matters. Get a good one. I recommend PFSense, Ubiquiti makes some good ones. There's lots of companies that make great firewalls for your home. Start there. I use PFSense mostly because it has the ability to have all kinds of add-on packages and one of them is Squid with Clam AV. So I can actually secure my home network from an anti-malware perspective right at the firewall. So I have a chance to stop malware from entering my home right at my firewall before it ever has the opportunity to land on a device or one of my PCs. The other thing you want to do from a firewall perspective is make sure that the firewall on your Windows PC, on your laptop, on your MacBook, make sure all of those things are turned on. Do not turn off the firewall on those devices. Many viruses and malware want to spread through your home by looking for opening ports. And if they're all closed, you've stopped their first line of, of entry. So now you have to, to get them through an email or some other, other channel um, and actually execute that program on your computer. So always make sure that that firewall is turned on. It's really important. The second thing is make sure, especially if you're running Windows, make sure that you have a good anti-malware package. Even if it's the micro, Microsoft version, have something installed on your PC that's looking for and blocking malware. Because that's the number one place that these nefarious people are going to try to infiltrate your home is by installing malware onto your PC. And not only just listening to what you say, um, but looking all over your computer for bank account numbers, social security information, and that type of stuff, which is far more risky. Okay, and the last thing, make sure that you don't go to nefarious websites. Do not go to websites like porn sites and pirate sites and, and get rich quick scheme sites and all of those sites. Those sites are littered with malware. They can't make money by legitimate means, so they have to make money other ways. And one of them is putting malware on your computer through your web browser using known vulnerabilities. So make sure that you stay away from all of those sites, or if at least you're going to go to those sites, do it with a burner PC or, a, or a, a VM that you can destroy after you're finished so that you don't have to worry about your home or your PC getting infected with malware. Okay, well that is all for this video. In the next video, I hope to give you guys a little bit of an update on where I am with the mining operation. And as you can hear behind me, um, I do have my ant miner in and man, is it ever noisy. And so I'm gonna give you an update on that. And so this is the ant miner and um, it's quite noisy. And I have um, four mining rigs running in my workshop right now. And um, I hope to give you an update on this and what my plans are to get these out of here into another location um, so that I can get my workshop back. So I'll see you in the next video.